How difficult is it really to make partner at a consulting firm like McKinsey? This is one of the very frequent topics that we encounter with many of our mentees, especially after having secured an offer. And it relates to the probability of going all the way up to partner at their respective firm. Now, across all the criteria relevant to be elected for partnership at a firm like McKinsey or BCG or Bain, such as problem solving, for example, uh, IP development, um, people leadership, coaching, client leadership, commercial targets, of course, etc., the absolute threshold for each of them is actually not that high. The true difficulty comes from staying significantly above the bar in all of them simultaneously and to be truly distinctive in one or two and still be able to sustain the lifestyle. So the question is, can you do the problem solving and manage a team and build relationships with clients and perform internal firm duties, like for example, leading and developing a practice and see your family and get enough sleep and, and, and. Building up the skills from analyst up to partner is actually not a completely overwhelming task. Because you can get guidance and support and encouragement from many directions within the firm. The real difficulty comes from the cost of doing it. So, for example, drafting and tracking a work plan is not really rocket science. However, if this does not come naturally to you, you will still have to do this for three or four years, non-stop, during your time as a project manager. So, another example, if you get grumpy and inefficient when you sleep less than eight hours every night, well, then be prepared to work on that and work on that quickly. For example, an associate partner or principal might have a pretty good track record and a good reputation for managing the lifestyle of his teams. However, when looking behind the curtain, it might very, very likely be revealed that since he always has three or four teams working uh, at the same time across different geographies, that he himself has to work just about every weekend for a good number of hours, reviewing slide decks, even being on conference calls, etc. So, at the core, it is really about the fit of this profession with your own strengths and whether you really want to make the effort to sustain that kind of life. Because along the way to partnership, there will be multiple very tempting opportunities that pop up left and right, right? And that would, in theory, allow for a more relaxed lifestyle. But if you are really all in for the partnership within MBB, then you will most certainly look at a multi-million dollars career with an impact at scale that is hardly comparable to anything that you can find elsewhere.